Hi guys, it's Cool Game Tech here, and today I'm here to show you all the weird things you can do with cameras and JSON files by just changing some files in Minecraft. So, you can do a lot of things with cameras, and they can be kind of weird sometimes. And then, I'm upside down, and right side up. And also, when I sneak, I'm about a block tall. My camera is one block high. And then, when we go into third person, I can click straight through blocks. Okay, so, before you do this, you want to make sure that you're, you're showing hidden files. And you want to do that, you gotta click view. And then, you should be able to something with your files I don't have the same one I'm using a different way to show it but you want to check the hidden items okay so how you find minecraft is and how you edit these is you go into local disk program files Windows apps and then you scroll down until you find Microsoft dot minecraft dot 1.16 point whatever that you have and then that's yours but mine since I use the version switcher is on this and then what you have to do is you have to go into data definitions cameras cameras and then you have all of the cameras that minecraft looks at for where you look Okay, so now this is the how-to. So it basically depends on what you want to do. If you want to make it so that you can go in 180, you'll want to change your first-person look from your first-person.json file in your Minecraft folder. And then you want to change it from negative 89.9, the pitch minimum, you want to change it from negative 89.9 to negative 179.9 and the pitch maximum from 49.9 to 179.9 if you want to make it so you're just stuck at looking completely straight you can have it so that this is 0 and 0 0, 0 and 0, 0 and you literally can only look straight if you want to make it so that you no longer bob in first person camera but you bob in every other camera you just delete this and you do control us if you want to make it so so you're not nauseous in portals you delete that if you want to make it so that liquids don't offset you for whatever reason you just delete that and then if you want to make it so that it's 10 degrees higher. You just put in negative 10 and save. And if you want to make it so it's one block above your head, you just gotta put a one zero there. And if you want to make it so you go lower and you sneak, you just have to change this. And if you want to make it so you go down faster, you make that higher. Okay, so then if you want to change it so that it looks a little different I'd mess around with these variables I think you have to make them higher than 10 and 40 to do anything good the shake not sure what that does you can mess around with it and see what happens the sneak it's the same thing these are the same thing but to make it so it clips your blocks you have to delete avoidance just have to straight up delete it and then it's the same thing with third person if you don't want if you want avoidance if you don't want it to avoid the things you just gotta delete avoidance and I'd save something before you mess it I'd like save it I'd just like copy and paste it and put it on discord maybe or whatever you want to do so, that JSON files, 
are the files that Minecraft looks at to see different things. And this is the .json file that you should have for your first person camera. So I'm going to go over different things it has. So this is the field of view variable. It does not do anything. They do not look at the field of view variable at all. So you can set this to whatever you want. It won't change anything. The near clipping plane, I'm pretty sure that is how close it can, like how close a block can get before the camera starts, just stops um, moving. And then far clipping plane is how far it can get. Yeah, I'm not very good at explaining that, but the render player model is pretty easy. It's just whether it renders the player model or not. So in first person, it's going to be off, but in third person, it's going to be true. Yeah, false is off, true is on. And the player rotation offset is basically just the offset, uh, which it looks to where the player is and it's by default all of it as is at 180 0 180 they're both floats which means they have a point number at the end they have a decimal at the end and then the priority i'm pretty sure that's the priority at which it renders it i'm not exactly sure though blend in default i'm not sure about this behaviors so this is where third person and first person change so third person is going to have orbit as its behavior instead of attach what attach does is it looks at where you are and then it basically stays, the camera stays where you are. And it has an offset of however money. If you don't have a, any behavior, let's say you deleted this all, you basically just be stuck at zero, zero. And then, yeah, the offset is just the difference between where you are and where it's going to be at. And then, behaviors are yeah this is some random stuff for third person but the radius is how far it is away from the player and then what it looks at soft bounds are where it starts to move you like that is where it will keep you at compared to the actual place where the camera should be looking at versus where the camera is looking at and I think it's in degrees I'm not exactly sure though and then the hard bounds are where we'll basically stop the camera from moving any farther and move the camera along with uh, along with where the player is supposed to be looking at and then the soft bound smoothing spring is basically just how hard it pushes at you when you're in the soft bounds and then the avoidance is basically it avoids hitting the um, the blocks and this is what I would remove to stop the clipping and then the shake is I think what happens when they do the slash shake command or when you maybe hit but then the sneak is what happens when you sneak so to make it so that you uh, to make it so that that you go down farther when you sneak, I just have to change it from 0 0.125 to negative 1.0. And then the isopolation interpolation rate is the rate at which it goes between the where starts at and then where it's going to be offset to the first person look with the pitch min and pitch max basically it just determines how you look up and down and basically yeah 
it determines your looking and this does not have a first person look in the JSON which I would assume makes it not look in first person and not have a crosshair I'm not completely sure about this but I think it would be and then Bob is what happens when you walk so if you were to delete it you would not Bob when you walk I think comfort move I'm not sure what that is portal is when you're in a portal that it gives you the nauseous effect it would not do that if you remove it liquid offset I think it's just what happens when you're in water if you remove it change something and then ride rotation is just what happens when you are riding a horse I'm pretty sure I haven't tested it out and then the activation rules what activates it and then there are different things like there's sleep debug camera we have the tripod camera so there's a lot of things you can do with JSONs by just looking through Minecraft's files and changing them because they're all really easy to see. Thanks for watching. See you next time.